Now, a forum on the role of religious leaders in elections has charged faith communities to discourage the spread of divisive information and rumors on the basis of religion and ethnicity. The meeting in Abuja believes a common aspiration to end the suffering of the people through the ballot should be the unifying factor. Correspondent Joki Adesa tells us more. Four weeks to Nigeria's presidential election and the drumbeats of war are resonating across some states. Wanting killings and destruction of properties now characterize political campaigns. This gathering seeks an immediate end to the ugly trend. It identifies religious leaders and faith-based organizations as crucial to achieving rank of free elections. How should religious leaders conduct themselves? What is their responsibility towards the country, the citizens, their faith communities, and to God as far as elections are concerned? This country has incredible resources, almost 200 million people. It's a population that can really transform the direction of the black hole. Of Africa and religious leaders, please do preach to our people the importance of voting for a just and equitable leader for Nigeria. People know that when you use the, the tool of religion, um, it touches at the very heart of people's beliefs. Religious leaders are not oblivious of the critical responsibility on their shoulders, especially now that fake news, hate speech, and disinformation daily threatened the nation's existence. The appeal is for politicians to desist from deliberate manipulation of the clergy, clerics, and faith communities. The desired change will come about only when the various stakeholders in the Nigerian project, including religious leaders and faith communities, when we staunchly reject the ignominious status quo that throws up for leadership positions men and women of base character. Nigeria is ours, that we are the masters and not the slaves, because we give privilege and we give equality to those who don't need us. It is you and I who bring them, but after you do that, what comes of that? Nothing. Religious and traditional leaders are to promote non-partisan civic and voter education among their congregations, discourage violence before, during, and after the elections, and discourage selling and buying of votes. Jokeyadisa, TVC News, Abuja.